Hey, everybody. How you doing? I know it's been such a long time since I've been in front of the camera. It's been a very long time. It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step to. So, today, we're back. Ah, uh, fun fact. I filmed this video before, but I didn't like the lighting at all. It was, it was giving nothing. And so, um... It's giving darkness and I was like I gotta I gotta find somewhere else to film this thing so here I am the last video <laughs> where we left off in Tiffany's life no so a lot of things have happened all like work related some personal stuff which I'm not gonna get into right now but um, some things have perspired at work that I'd like to discuss and I want to take you on a journey on the last year and a half or so a year and a half or so I want to take you on a journey on the last year and a half or so to kind of get everybody up to speed the first thing I want to discuss um I guess I'm not going there's not going to be like a bulleted list I'll try to timestamp this thing um one thing I did want to talk about was um just work in general the updates from work oh man we've been going through a journey of transition in work at work for the last year probably about the last yeah probably the last couple of years but really kind of seeing stuff perspire the last year or so there was an initial a round of like reconfiguring within our teams like at the end of 2022 going into like the beginning of January 2023 a lot of that configuration was just like honestly I don't know much about that that it just kind of happened and we just kind of all went along with it so basically what happened is like some people moved on to we are own, we are owned by a, a larger corporation and so a lot of people kind of found jobs within the larger corporation they have different sectors and so they kind of found jobs within those let's just call them within those different sectors people left people moved around people joined different teams and then we were like okay, we're all where we need to be. Cool beans. Then fast forward to August of 2023. That would be last year. Um, if you're viewing this in 2024. During that time, we got word that um, they would have to get rid of a whole team of people. And so what that included was, uh, I think the team was considered about five or six folks, but don't quote me on that. I don't know real numbers here. Just kind of give you a, a general sense of what was going on. So they were trying to relieve five to six people or so of their position to either move to the larger corporation. Remember I told you different segments under them or to kind of like not just be there anymore and find your own thing outside of this corporation. With that being said, um, of course, there was a lot of confusion and like people were just nervous, overall nerves of people like, oh man, I'm gonna have to leave, I gotta find another job. Um, myself personally, I was just like, Ooh, here we go again. You know, I'm not a stranger to layoffs. If you've seen any video on my channel um, in the past, you've heard me talk about a layoff at some point. So this is nothing new to me. I've worked for all types of companies, all sizes that, hey, we gotta let you go. And I don't take offense to it. Of course, I'm always kind of like, oof, this is happening. But like, I'm, I don't get, I don't take it personal, if that makes sense. I still have to say, it was kind of like, oh man, like, what are we gonna do? Because the uncertainty, usually when you get laid off, it's like, hey, you're going to be cut. But this announcement was like, hey, we're going to have to cut some people. Don't know who. Got to cut some folks. That's that's what it was like. So a lot of people were like, is it me? Is it you? And we're like, nobody knows because nobody said anything. So we weren't for sure. Fast forward and a, like probably a couple months later, they kind of they kind of narrowed down like who was going to fill the layoff um and i was not included in that number and i was like oh i made the cut man i never make the cut of layoffs i was like man that's pretty cool so i was like all right this is good this is great but i said to myself i do need to 
probably start looking because it's not good, you know, to be even that close to being laid off. Even if you're not laid off, it's still like, whew, that happened. But you can't ignore the fact that it happened, you know? I went uh, about my business, did the work that we were supposed to be doing. And then um, a couple of my coworkers were told that they were going to get laid off, including my manager. Um, and then it all just happened. So, uh, their final day was November of last year. Um, for my manager, it was a little bit earlier, which was unexpected. So we were kind of without a manager for a little bit. We're a self-sufficient team A lot of, you know, my group is, I think a lot of the groups are, um, but there's nothing like having a manager that like has your back and knows, um, a bit more of who you are and is able to speak to those things and, um, to not have that presence, it was felt. Okay. So fast forward to November, end of November, the, everyone that was supposed to leave is now no longer here. And we're going into the holidays thinking, all right, we still got a job. Let's go. We're moving forward. Right. So we're just cranking out features like we typically do. Now, fast forward again to the next part of the story, which is uh, February of this year, 2024, we had a meeting that was set and it like everybody was invited to this meeting. And I said, we're about to get cut loose because why else would we all need to be at this meeting? And furthermore, the person running the meeting, I haven't had a bunch of contact with. And I was like, well, this is it. Like, <laughs> We're done. Stick a fork in us. Literally got into the meeting and you could tell morale was just like, oof. And I was like, ooh, it's happening. So I thought we were going to get cut that day. Turns out the announcement was um, that we didn't do anything wrong. It didn't have anything to do with us, but they are going to have to decrease our team because of the fact that we're not making enough money to like keep everybody around. So I was like, dang. You hate to see it. So again, I knew this was going to happen. I didn't realize it was going to be February. I personally thought I had at least until this August of 2024 before I heard some news like this, but that was not the case. So here's what I did next. After hearing that, we all got the same news at the same time. We were scheduled uh, for the following week. This was on a Thursday. So the following week, Everyone got their individual uh, severance meetings because we were getting severance packages. And at that time, we would know when our last day is. So for me, my last day is July 1st. Um, I was very surprised that it was July 1st. I was like, whoa, that's new because I didn't think that would be the case. So thank you to uh, for that decision. So then what I did next was... First of all, I go crazy without knowing what's about to happen. I hate surprises. Like, <laughs> I just, I hate them. So I was really, not necessarily shooken up, but I was, I was like kind of all over the place because I'm like, all right, what is this going to look like? I had personal things I was trying to figure out. If you saw my last video, I was trying to buy a house. I'm still in that road I'm trying to buy a house but now you know things have had to pivot now so um I I then said okay let me let me take control of something that I can control what I can control is my budget and that's what I know that I can get a handle on so I started I made a budget um this is like a week or two after we got the news I started making a budget sheet of the necessary expenses. I was like, okay, these are the things that I need. I already have a budget sheet in general. So some of the stuff on the sheet will go away by the time July comes because it's like a car note and like, I won't have the car note anymore because we didn't pay off the car. Yay. Um, and then just mainly that was like the biggest thing. And that's like the biggest expense outside of anything else that comes up. Um, that I have. Right. So I was like, okay, we got this Tiffany. So I started writing down all the stuff. And once I saw the picture budget that I had 
was I was able to pay everything I'm still paying now, plus still have a little bit left over. So I was like, okay, we're good. We got a little bit of a cushion. Um, I was under $2,000 for my entire month of spending. Um, so I was like, yes, let's go. We're winning. Let's make it happen. I can work off 2000 in a little bit less than 2000 a month for, you know, six months or so. Like I'm good with that. Um, and so I was like, let's make it shake. So I felt a little bit more confident. Um, so amidst all of the confusion, I was now set on the budget. The next thing is I just took some time for myself. I'm not going to lie, guys. I, we were told that we could kind of take a beat when we needed to take a beat. Um, we weren't told to like keep working until you can't work. Like that wasn't forced upon us. And so I was grateful for the sentiment of like, do what you need to do, take care of yourself, etc. And so, um, what I ended up doing is I would, take my breaks like I, I'd go for a walk and stuff like that a little bit more often than I normally would in the past sometimes I wouldn't even take a break sometimes I wouldn't even walk outside so I'm like you know what now's the time gotta start taking care of Tiffany because it's at this point like I'm not gonna have a job soon so I need to figure out what that looks like and how I'm going to maneuver that situation. Amongst that, I looked at my resume and I had updated it because if you recall in this story, I we had like a layoff scare last year. So what I forgot to mention is that I updated my resume back then. So I had my resume up to date and, um, but I just wasn't really confident about sending my resume out. I didn't want the calls. I didn't want the emails. I didn't want to have to like chase after the recruiters and decipher which job is the best job. Like, are they serious in what they're talking about? Um, is this all lies on paper? Like, what is this? Like, do they even believe in my skill set? Right. And so I had, I just didn't have any confidence in joining the job market at that time. So what I did instead is I was like, you know what, what else can I do to kind of pivot in that direction, but not necessarily like put myself out there, like throw myself in the trenches right now. And what I came up with was I had um, a project that I was working on. Um, I started back up, I think last year and I ended up like scrapping the old one and kind of redoing it because it was like super old and trying to get it back up to date was a whole thing. So I ended up starting to work on that project. And then I was like, I don't really like this project anymore. I don't really feel passionate about this. So instead I pivoted to a different project, which I'm very excited about. And I just finished um, kind of like buttoning up the last stuff of it today. But um, I spent about three weeks to a month working on this project. Like I, it would be like, midnight one o'clock on a weekday I got to go to work <laughs> but I'm like let me finish it the project is um it's like a music quiz so if you've ever heard of the show called Beat Shazam um it's a show where there are contestants they come on there they hear a snippet of a song and they have to guess the name of the song well I love the show I'm a big fan of the show I've been watching it every season it's been out if you haven't heard of it, you should go check it out. It's coming back in May. So set your calendars. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's local. So check your local listings. <laughs> um, anyways, I love the show. And I was like, I kind of want to make a, a game like this. But of course, I can't call it Be Shazam. They're going to they're gonna sue me. So um, what I ended up doing is I called it like Music Quiz. That's the game. That's all I can come up with. It's not very original, but it is what it is. It, it, that's what it is. I'm excited to say that if you want to go play the game, it's not an app for your phone. It's a web application. I had a great time experiencing like the front end of this, like, cause I use Livewire and Laravel to do it. And I had never used Livewire ever. And so I learned a lot there and uh, made some mistakes. I'm pretty sure in the code base, um, but we got it working. And I say we, I mean me. So <laughs> I got it going and it is now hosted. I have it hosted on one of my subdomains and I'm so excited 
Uh, so I've shared it with friends and family so far. I've got some great feedback. Some of the feedback, I'm like, yes, I know. But I'm trying to figure out like a, a good way to implement it. And that's kind of why I, I did not implement some of the feedback um, that I even had myself. But it's kind of echoing with other people that are playing the application because they're like, oh, what about this? And I'm like, I know, I thought of it. But I don't have a great way to go about doing that yet. So I'm not going to implement it until I can find a clean approach. And because this is just something I'm doing in my spare time, I don't want to, I'm not going to listen to every single feedback, but I do hear it and I, and I am listening. So, um, I did that about a week and a half ago. I did that and it was great. I enjoyed it. Uh, so I'll leave the link below if you're interested in checking out my game. It's not a paid thing. It's totally free. You just click on the link and then go. Um, but I'm interested if you're, especially if you are, a developer but if you're just a user of the application I still want to hear your feedback too I'm most interested in like how it looks like d do the buttons make sense like that sort of stuff um, so if you have any feedback that you think would be helpful you know send it my direction you can for now you could email me or send it through social media uh, all my social media links are below. So if you're interested in like leaving me some feedback, I'll greatly appreciate it and take it into consideration for sure. Right now, the uh, GitHub repository is private because when I first started this, I didn't want it public because I didn't know exactly where what I was going to do with everything. So I was like, let me just private it for now. Um, there may be, uh, if, if we get some feedback that points in the direction of, things that I could use help on, then there could be a possibility that I make it public. So that for now, though, it is private. Um, I might do a video on just like the general overview of it. If people are interested in that, give me a like on this video and let me know below. And I definitely could do that. So after I got the game out of my system, I was like, I'm doing stuff. Um, during that whole process, of course, I'm going back, I'm looking at my GitHub repositories and I'm, you know, hosting stuff now so I'm like looking at my uh, the my domain hosting and like anywho I realized that on my own personal website which is my main website tiffanythompson.tech I literally had broken code there it was like things my website was broken like my blog wasn't coming up my youtube videos weren't coming up i didn't make any new ones but dang i wanted the old ones to still show up and it wasn't showing up like what's going on so i went and i did some clean up there so i spent some some time doing that um i also want to redo my entire website because let me tell you i wanted to be able to showcase my talent my skill set all of that, um, including the blogs and stuff like that. So I really want to dive back into that sort of thing. So I said all that to say, I am working on not necessarily, I guess you can call it rebranding, but I'm trying to come back and, but I'm not going to like come back like lightning. You know what I mean? It's not going to be like, ah, it's going to be more like, a, Ooh, so <laughs> that's what I'm here for. Anywho, so that's coming down the pipeline. I still don't know exactly what I want to do. I was leaning more towards WordPress and now I don't want to do WordPress and uh, I, I don't know. I'll figure out something. Currently my website is, I have a bootstrap template that I found online and I just downloaded the template, changed a bunch of stuff, deleted some stuff I didn't need and that's my website. So I might do the same thing this time. I'm not quite sure, um, but I do know it needs to be updated and it is April now. So remember I got the news of the layoffs and like it was mid February. And so right now I'm wanting to pivot my thinking after I've had some time to kind of like process everything. I am now in the stages of like, okay, I've got to get myself back out there studying on coding interviews, the dreadful algorithms no one wants to do, but they have to. So um, I am now starting to slowly drift back in that direction. So anyways, this is my update. So <laughs> thank you for listening. <laughs>
<laughs> if you've made it this far, I definitely appreciate you. Uh, thank you for um, staying this long. Uh, again, make sure to check out the game. Link will be below if you're interested in that. I'd also would love your feedback. If you have any thoughts, especially when it comes to the UI, it's not my strong suit. So I'd like your opinions um, of what do you think? What could I do better next time, etc. cetera. Um, also, if you're interested in seeing the code for that, like my thought process with that, I had, I have all that stuff because um, I use a notion board. So if you're interested in how I went about that, uh, definitely like this video. Let me know, let me know below and I could put something together for that too. So you guys can kind of see what was going on there. Uh, but anyways, that is all I have for now. Uh, until next time, take care of yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you soon. Take care. Have a great day.